So I'm Rayal Suleiman from Romania, um, from the National University of Theatre and Film Ile Caragiale in Bucharest. And uh, I'm here with uh, my film Idol. Yes, I'll stay for routine. The part that is not so obvious in the film, perhaps, is that these two characters started talking online, so their whole relationship started on the internet. Uh, so I decided to start the movie with the scene where Thomas, the main, I mean the guy, uh, is singing to her. He's dedicating a song to her, and then they immediately see each other in the park. Well, I wanted to explore this thing where people talk online a lot and they tell each other all kind of intimate stuff and get pretty close to each other, like especially kids nowadays, let's say. And then when they meet in person, there's suddenly their communication skills are zero and they don't know what to say to each other, how to talk, how to communicate. And I thought that kind of meeting would be interesting to play with and for them to play with because it was like, uh, I, they're not, of course, actors, they're in high school when I met them. I saw them on the internet, on Facebook. I sort of knew about them from friends. So I went to them, asked them if they want to play in a movie, introduced them to one another. And they actually started talking on the internet and they started becoming friends more than I was <laughs> with them. So that was really nice. And then all of the shooting and their walk in the park in the film was pretty real, like they got to know each other. And I feel like they didn't necessarily play themselves, but a lot of their own true personality was in those characters. Uh, well, I wrote the script. Uh, for the dialogue part, I worked with my best friend that was also my assistant director. And we wrote the dialogue as in very basic, like things we wanted them to have small talk and stuff like that. But we also, I also went around with them in the park and let them improvise and have their ideas. A lot of the lines and the dialogue were improvised on the shooting, but, but we kept a line, you know, that we wanted, like a, the basis, mm -hmm. what they're supposed to talk about. But I mean, in their own words, I, I'm not, I wasn't a control freak, like you have to say this word now and that word. It's like, it just was a flow. There are so many movies that I like and really diverse. I couldn't say that I have a specific style of movies that I like and that's all. I like really diverse things. I tried to show that somehow. I also yeah, showed um, sequences from Ulrich Seidel, which I really love. I really like this um, absurd things that happen in reality, like absurd dialogue and not necessarily totally realistic. Or I really like um, video diaries and uh, homemade videos. I adore all this area of cinema, like just shooting whatever you see and talking about it in more like a stream of consciousness rather than something very specific and well built and directed. I really love this area too. And I chose, you know, that thing when he talks about himself because somehow this film was supposed to talk about ourselves too and I totally agree with what he said, so... <laughs> yeah, I love, I love Mekas. Well, as you know, in the past years, Romanian cinema has bloomed and a lot of good directors came up winning all sorts of prizes and being in all the important festivals. Of course, when you're a student and you just get in school and Romania is a small country and it has a small film industry so when you're in Romania you're thinking like maybe I'm never gonna get to do really important movies and be in all the important places but if you have some people that have managed to do that before you of course it opens up a lot of doors and 
people are very interested in Romanian cinema thanks to them. So it makes things quite easier, but it also makes them harder in a sense that uh, the standard is pretty high. People have certain expectations from your films, from Romanian films, because a lot of good ones came out. But of course, I totally support it. <laughs> I think, uh, speaking for my generation, I have a lot of schoolmates that tried a lot of different things and also comedies and also went a bit away from all this realistic approach. So I feel like things are moving in different directions and people are coming out with different visions. Of course there are a lot of people that want to follow the recipe of success and it's your choice. I mean if it's a good film or not, you have to see. <laughs> Yeah, but mm -hmm. it is it is a pressure somehow, and that's what I was telling everybody that when you get into our school, you have this pressure, and professors tell you that you have to be aware that probably just two or three of you will actually make it, and we're like more than two or three. So from the first year, you have this pressure that I really have to focus, and I really have to make a good movie and be in festivals and do this and do that. It gets a bit overwhelming in the sense that. You maybe forget about all the creativity and fun that you have that you have when you're not in film school, mm -hmm. but you have to be careful about these things and take them into consideration. Mm -hmm. Pressure is sometimes good, but yeah. for some people it's really bad. Well, it just gives you a really cool context where you meet people that want to do the same thing. I mean, this is all for me because I don't really think that you can teach someone how to make movies because it is so vague and it can be anything. You can't really theorize it somehow. But you just, you're put in the same place with really creative people and you experiment a lot and that's the only way that you actually get to make films. So in this sense, <laughs> I really liked film school. It helped me do my movies. Well, I finished school last year. So for the past year I've been in this period where you have to make a living but you don't want to compromise and do whatever, you want to make your own projects. It's pretty confusing but slowly you have to find your path. Um, I also made a documentary that I have to finish, I co-directed it with my best friend. We have to finish it and then see <laughs> what happens with it, yeah. And uh, of course, I want to write my uh, first feature film. I'm not exactly sure if it is the moment to do a feature film or if I should do a short one before. It depends. I have, I have an idea, I have to develop it and gather people around it and see how that goes. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, yeah, do other things. <laughs>